But let's talk about teams that are struggling a little bit. Oh, that sounds um, fun. Because it's wild early in the season yet. It does seem like some teams are starting to slide back. And I think the one we got to talk about first has to be LA Galaxy. Uh, I said I said something on this show and on Morning Footy uh, on Paramount Plus. Um, it's getting harder to quote yourself, huh? Uh, I mean, More platforms. I, I said this on multiple platforms. <laughs> At first here I said, it seems like LAFC, if LA Galaxy don't get this right, will be the team of the, of the city in LA. Mm-hmm. Uh, and people told me that happened two years ago, whatever. I don't agree. I yeah. think I think LA Galaxy, because of their history, can still somewhat compete. After that loss, it seems like there's almost they have to win MLS Cup in order to even get their name back in the in the running. Uh, LA Galaxy is a bit in the mud. You've got Greg Vanny seems like he's being torn at the at the at the seams. He's pr- <laughs> pretending to do handballs. He's swearing in press conferences. He's blaming everyone else. Chicharrito, I mean, there's jokes. It's Someone did uh, JFK looking much older and said uh, JFK if Chicharrito was the shooter. I mean, there's jokes <laughs> going left and right. My mother's calling me on the phone. Here we go. Oh, yeah, Daisy. Okay, uh, you're on the podcast. I got to go, okay? No, don't say anything private. You're on the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We don't get into legal trouble in our family. Yeah, there's mics on. She's like, oh, yeah. Okay, bye. I, I respect that you, you just couldn't not pick up for your mom. You had to pick up. Of course. Up. You got to pick up for the yeah. moms. Yeah, right? no, that's fair. Yeah. You know, DraftKings is like, this is what we paid for. This is, bro. Should I just start calling people? <laughs> yeah, dude. Call my mother. I put my <laughs> phone on do not disturb. Your phone's just going off. Yeah. Well, my mother very rarely calls. There's two reasons why my mom calls. Someone Absolute died. emergency or she can't figure out the cable box. Oh, Those mine is two. always someone died. And then now it's become a point where it's never that. Yeah. But the moment the phone rings, you're like, yeah, I have to. Yeah. yeah, and then you pick up and you're like, who's dead? And they're like, no, we were just curious like what time you were going to come over on Wednesday. And I was like, <laughs> you're like, no one died? Yeah. Can you not call me? Yeah. Please don't call me, but I love you guys. Uh, someone just put Daisy. <laughs> Yo, by the way, she she could throw a mean right hook. Um, it, that's the most Latino thing that's ever happened on this show as a travel <laughs> football fan. Uh, okay, bye is a pretty... We need to isolate that for <laughs> yeah, the soundboard. Yeah, we can for sure. We'll get yeah, that In one. fact, every time my mother calls, we should play this. Because <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. Uh, you also never know what's going to happen with LA Galaxy. What are oh, your wow. thoughts? Oh, wow. What a professional Bro, transition. I've been, yeah. up, I've been up since 3 a.m. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what are your thoughts on just where we are? Is it is It's not too late to fix this, but it's starting to feel like it's slipping out from underneath them, especially with the front office stuff. Yeah, so for the Galaxy, the problem is there's multiple conversations. One is like they're really bad right now. They haven't won a game. They the scored other, how many goals? One, two? Yeah, whatever. It, well, they scored two in this game. Yeah. So I hope they scored more than one Probably goal. Probably three season. in yeah. total. I forget. Uh, now we got the. Oh, you got someone doing this for yeah, you? Yeah, you don't yeah. even have Look to at do it. it. I'm not even moving my hands, bro. <laughs> Look, my, we can't no find hands. the team. Four goals for? Three goals for? Yeah. Um, but the issue for the club is bigger, which is like years and years of operating in the wrong way. So they, what is, what is the wrong way for people I'm, listening? I'm going to give it to you. Okay. I got you. Yeah. So they were successful with Beckham and Landon at the time. I think Peter Vermees was the one who told me this. He said about 80% of players were presented to MLS teams by agents. Cause they didn't really have scouting departments and you were selecting between them. And then the other 20% was guys you knew, or you went out and found that's so the galaxy built a core with great players, Beckham, AJ Delagars and guys like that. And then they would bring other little pieces in. Since then, the Galaxy have continued operating that way, and no other team in MLS does that. Every other team has scouting departments, analytics departments. They're still functioning context. this way? They have moved away from it slightly, but they're, they are one of the least robust front offices in the league. And that's how, how you is show that possible. Because they were resting on their laurels of being the Galaxy and being LA. And they why were like, people come to us. Why we don't we have to go, go out. We don't have yeah. to find them. Gareth Bale came to LAFC as, on a TAM contract. People love LA. So they'll just come to us and we don't, we'll just figure it out. Once the talent's in the team, we'll just figure it out. And that's been the case for the LA Galaxy. Other teams have advanced like Youth Academy stuff. It's LA. They play one Academy guy, Jalen Neal, right now. Because like he played for the US before he played for them. Right. So they had to. And Efra Alvarez, who they don't play and hasn't gotten any better and hasn't yeah. improved. So they don't use the market. They're not going out and doing things advanced. And so you have a team that's like always trying to catch up 
and they waste money because that's what you have to do in MLS if you're not efficient. So they bring in internationals, which means they have to trade for international picks and waste money. They bring in players they don't want. So then they either have to buy them out or trade them for less than what they got them for, like Kevin Cabral and Derek Williams, and they've constantly been catching up. So that's the big picture issue for the Galaxy, and that's not going to get fixed this year. They hired Will Coons, which is like a big MLS nerd move. He was at LAFC for a while. He's from Brooklyn Heights. Nice. Yeah. His dad is an, a judge, I believe, in the Supreme Court building. Ooh. It, you've seen his dad because that's a legend. Yeah. He walks around, giant guy with a, with like a cool Save Saved hat. my friend, by the way. My friend was like, hey, I'm doing jury duty in your neighborhood. I'm like, yo, that's a fed. Yeah. And he goes, she goes, yeah, I don't know. I go, it's that's a FIFA case. It probably. was a Chapo. No. I saved her from being, I said, bro, you got to get out of it. And she's like, the night before, uh, you can look this up. how did you save her? Bill Burr had done uh, Madison Square Garden the night before Mm -hmm. she was to go to jury duty. We're at the after party. um, And she goes. CBS, now Bill Burr after party. (laughs) You know, right? Bill Burr The table is groaning under Uh, the name. Bill Burr's tried to fuck me twice. Um, (laughs) True story. Uh, So I'm no longer invited to those parties. But. Uh, she goes, yeah, I got to go to your neighborhood. I'm going to be going to court. I'm like, no, you can't. That's El Chapo. She goes, who's El Chapo? And I'm like, what? Well, she's perfect for that case. And friend. I go, no, I go, the guy who's going to murder your family yeah. if you say he's guilty. <laughs> and she's like, what? I go, look it up. He escaped jail through tunnels. Like, this guy's no joke. And she was like, no, I think it'll be fine. She goes, I avoided jury duty so many times. They threw me in a federal federal case. Yeah. And I go, no, you cannot go. And she's like, I'm going to go. And the next day she texts me. She goes, before I went to bed, you scared me so much. I Googled them. She goes, I faked I faked the sickness that I'd have to go. So you think she'll get in trouble now that you've talked about this on this podcast? No, <laughs> dude. If the feds are listening to this podcast, y'all wasting your time, bro. Is bro. El Chapo just listening listen, to just- you know, tap his phone, dude. Yeah, listen to <laughs> absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, so the Galaxy are a mess there. Yeah. And then, so but the one thing for them has been, like, there's some talent on the team, right? Zlatan, Jonah Dos Santos, guys like that. So they've kind of been able to compete at times, which covers up a lot of as that. Greg Vanny seems like the ter- type of guy who wants to roster build. Is, yes. Has he not tried to maybe put his tentacles in there no, a little he, bit? No, he absolutely has. There's a decent amount of crossover between him and Jovan Karofsky, who's the guy above him or now below him or next to him, whatever. They both love French players. So right. then you see Sega Koulibaly and Kevin right. Cabral. And, okay. This oh, the French second sense. division. We're going to win MLS Cup. That hasn't really worked. I think there was a misidentification on the specific talent as well as that level of being like, oh, these guys can just blow everyone away. It doesn't matter. Turns out they're not that good. I think that's part of it. And then the other part is there aren't a ton of coaches who are good at doing both. Like it's, we're going to talk about SKC, I assume. Yeah. In this. Peter Vermees has done it really well, but he's not perfect at it. Cause as a coach, you want to win on Saturday. And as a GM, you have to plan long-term and like make everything work and build depth and have other options. And now Greg Vanny's doing both. And I don't know that that's the right role for him. When you look at, the situation they're in, it's exacerbated. Whew. Right. Up at three. And Andrew's exacerbated. Let's go. Brooklyn Public Library bro. over here. Oh. BPL. <laughs> BPL, bro. I'm, a, I'm ESL and BPL at the same damn time. Um, I, by the way, my brain hurts. I am La Lucha just paid $2 for me to say this. Alexis, we watched the World Cup together. Oh, so you oh. have met Charlie. Charlie's the homie. Yeah. I don't be on them trains up. I said, who, uh, are, you fa- who are you a fan of? He said NYCFC, which yeah. I assume means he had a tattoo. I couldn't see it. He's the homie, bro. Yeah. Also, one of the top bartenders in the city. Oh yeah, we should go Where? hang out with Charlie. Where? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put him on blast. Right. But I love a good cocktail. No, I just went to is, Montreal. No, they, yeah, Montreal's one yeah. of the greatest cities in the world. But no, trust me, he's he's the guy. He's okay. him. He's the Jalen Brunson of, of <laughs> Timothy. Timothy I was Chalamet. just gonna say the same yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Bro. He's I am him lucha, dude. Oh. Um, we're talking about. No idea what we're talking. No one, no one knows what's happening. If you're listening to this, the answer is you don't have ADD. We do. Uh, <laughs> Craig Vanny? No, we were talking about LA Galaxy. How much, how much was it bravado that stopped them from changing some of these things you're talking about? Because this is a big reveal for me yeah. to, to realize that they just sat back and were like, what are you talking about? Agents. Well, a new team sprung up. They're downtown. You're in, I said Hawthorne, and people got mad at me. I'm sorry. You're in Carson. Carson. Uh, by the way, it turns out that's a different thing. No one cares. <laughs> uh, right there in L.A. County, this team is going downtown. 
You've got Beckham, not your now owns a different team, but he's your biggest superstar. Uh, Landon Donovan uh, over down in San Diego. They're not even associated with your club anymore. Meanwhile, they've got superstar owners. They bring in someone like a Carlos Velo who does make the connection to the to the Latino community there. It's a wildly Latino uh, fan base, or at least the vibe of it, right? And that seems to have sort of found its its roots even more and dug its roots deeper into the city. There's something about it where this seems like they've made every right move. At the very least, they've made it very more apparent. The safe standing, the 3252, the well-traveling, all this happens. On top of that, they've got this incredible scouting network, or at least from what we know, they seem to be finding value everywhere. How much of it was ignored how much of these massive red flares going yeah. off in your own city were ignored? We're now LA Galaxy are playing catch up. Yeah. So I I would push back on some of what you said, and I think Galaxy fans or Galaxy yeah, people were in the DMs. Yeah. Wildly the, pushing the, back. The main one being <laughs> Galaxy also have a massive Hispanic fan base, and yes. they are also connected into the roots. Can I of tell the you city. something? They it's the fact that it was a surprise to me. Someone who's done a show for seven yeah. years is is a problem. Yeah. That the galaxy have that fan base, a massive Latin fan base. Yeah. I know of the, I know of the. Well, LA like Riot. Cienfuegos goes into the El Salvador community, and they're huge okay. for El Salvadorians in that city. Sure, but and what I'm saying is the fact that uh, that's a they kind don't of a surprise present it the way yes, LAFC has. That's 100%. part of their fault. Yeah. I'm not saying it doesn't exist. Yeah, I'm saying it's not visible. Yeah. Now, and part of that is we don't live in LA and we don't care about LA. Right. I don't know about you. I speak. For nah, myself. yo, it's New York only, bro. Yeah, exactly. There's I'm one still coast. riding with Biggie. <laughs> yeah. I, there's only one coast, one crown. Yeah. So you don't, yeah. have, you don't have to worry. About that. You're a collection of towns, but and a beach you don't even go to. Let's don't be even honest. Get me started, but I would say fire tacos. Though I would say for them, as much as everything you said is true, if the galaxy were good, this would be perfect because it would be it toe would to be, toe. It would be duct taping over. Oh, the bigger issues. Yeah. But if another team sprung up in Atlanta. And we're like, we're just going to go with vibes. How long would that last? True. Which is what LA's doing. Yes, true. But my point being, there is still LA for LA Galaxy. Like, they, they don't need to fix maybe what the Red Bulls had to fix when NYCFC came in, which was like Some weird. would say still haven't fixed. But also NYCFC it's, have but, slowed. But I can't guarantee you that all of it's fixable for the Red Bulls. Like, I don't know if you can okay. be in Harrison and everything. Where I don't think the Galaxy have those issues. It's more sporting side, and yet they've not fixed any of them for, what, the last six years with LAFC in? So you're right. And then LAFC has taken over, and now— Let me give you a scenario. Yeah. I hate to interrupt you. I'm going to do it a lot. But <laughs> let me give you a scenario. Uh, you know, scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to change that. I, I found out about a new one, and I love it. It's negative 3 to 3. So 0 <laughs> Is, no, no, this is like is a real still thing. Zero? This isn't like me losing my brain. By the way, Zachary Johnson paid five dollars for me to say this. Give us, give us the tea, guys. The San Diego Lawyers are the next MLS ex MLS expansion. Uh, all right, you could just nod if you know that. Um, okay, there you go. <laughs> Nothing gets out in the podcast, but let's just say because they run that, was, they run that stuff through me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah David Gas is the one who answers. I'm the email. head of the whole thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> negative three to three. Okay. I, well, the reason I like that is zero. It gives you a, a, a real middle where zero, one to 10, five is already a failure. Yeah. Where it's not exactly the middle ground. Six or seven is kind of a failure in, a, in the one to 10. So I like the negative three to three. I'm going to say so wait, is zero a failure? No, it's middle. It's okay. the exact middle, right? So, like, so one is you're saying one sounds better than six in a scale of yes, zero. Yeah, 100%. To okay. One is acceptable, okay. three is incredible, okay. right? Well, I'm going to say negative three is LA Galaxy, and I'm going to say three is LAFC. Let's switch it so I don't get. LAFC is negative three. Three is LA Galaxy. Okay. You are a 10-year-old boy, okay? So picture you, still the same hairline, right? But you're watching. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Damn, Alexis. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Not false. I gave myself an applause for that. No. Uh, so you're 10 years old. You're living in LA, right? And you're thinking about... I really want to get into soccer. Eating organic meat. You're, bro, you're yeah. only shopping at Erewhon. Obviously, $250 PB&Js. Facts, bro. Yeah. You're buying avocados that are gold leaf wrapped. Yeah. I'm okay. already into USC. Yeah. Yeah. I'm already yeah. 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 You're yeah. already on the yeah. crew team, bro. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Right? Yeah. You're shopping for boat shoes when the thought of, by, of becoming a soccer fan appears. You have two options. You have LAFC and LA Galaxy. And then you start watching this season. 
And then you start doing a little bit of research and you realize that they did the LAFC did the double. Now, remind you, negative three is LAFC, three is LA Galaxy. On what scale? How close are you to picking one over the other? Where would you fall on that scale? I'd probably be a negative two. Right? Yeah, I it's think fun, that's fair. It's energetic. It's, it's, it's cool. close. Yeah. It seems like I mean, the I don't know if it's close because I don't know where anyone lives again right. and how you get there. I said you live the, in L.A. You're in L.A. But, You're but not where, on the But where am I in L.A.? Not in the L.A. county. I got to get in a car. Yeah. I gotta drive. Uh, the only thing for the they Galaxy. They do have public transportation. No one's ever taken it, but they do have it. Uh, yeah, Galaxy of uh, People are saying LAFC, hands down LAFC. Give me yeah. sure we're going to talk about uh, Sporting Kansas City.